Now, with school shutting down during this pandemic, many daycares are bursting at the seams. But with not a lot of guidance from officials on how they should operate, 12 News reporter Victoria Dillion spoke with one owner who says he's wondering what to do. Earlier this week, Chad Cross wrote two letters. This one says his daycare will remain open, and this one says it'll close, and he still has no idea which one he'll be sending to parents. There's no guidance. We're kind of left on our own to make our own decision. Chad Cross says not knowing is the worst part. He owns Happy Beginnings Daycare in Beaumont. He knows schools are closing their doors, but is still at a crossroads. You know, I'm not a school, so I don't have an endless supply of funds. You know, is the government going to help me? Am I going to be available to get a small business loan so that I can continue operations? I don't know any of those answers. Nobody has said anything. In a press conference Thursday afternoon, County Judge Jeff Brannick said they requested guidance from the Department of State Health Services for daycares. We got an email from him, and after reading through it, it was no guidance. Cross says if he closes the daycare, there will be a lot of parents without child care. But the flip side of that, you know, is children in daycare are basically little petri dishes. So, I mean, everything that they touch goes in their mouth. Um, it is a big concern. You know, this year we had a very bad flu year. There are 90 kids on his roster, but today only 30 came to the daycare. So obviously it sounds like parents are already social distancing their kids from these daycares. Dr. Gary Minney is with the Medical Center of Southeast Texas. He says good hygiene and distance is key in this situation. So if you can get 10 or less per room uh, and keep them separated, then, then you're probably doing okay. We're giving us some guidelines to uh, hand washing and cleanliness and trying to keep the spread of stuff. But with kids, it's so hard. Texas Health and Human Services is asking child care providers to screen everyone coming into the building. But Chad Cross is still asking for more guidance from government and health officials. The problem is this is changing hour by hour, day by day. So I don't know. I need somebody to tell me what to do. For now, Happy Beginnings Daycare will remain open and is following all hand-washing guidelines provided by HHS. Chad Cross says he'll also be checking the temperature of everyone who comes into the building. In Beaumont, Victoria DeLeon, 12 News.